well, it's the big day. I get to start the uh, pathway. Hmm. I wonder how many days it will take. So far, day one. I think I'm going to probably get about six and a half meters, which is probably just path past that uh, walkway over there to the circle. Yeah. Wish me luck. It's going to be a lot of work. So my basic formula is 10 bay or 10 buckets, 10 meter buckets, one of the uh, gravel sand mix, which is already where all these are. I could have bought sand, could have bought gravel, could have counted on a certain number of of them each. I think it was like four and six or something like that, or three and seven, or I don't know, but, <clears throat> but basically I just do, I chose this because it's just easier to kind of just do 10 in the in the mixer and then basically add a bag of cement which makes the concrete and then you basically stir that up dry uh, so i'm going to do half of it dry mix that first put what well, half the bag add the other five buckets and we'll put the rest of it in mix it again and then add 17 liters of water which i'm going to fill up in there because it's got a good work on it so apparently this thing holds 140 they put anything near as much as that in this, so we'll see. And if it does, I should get 100 liters out of this, which is about two wheelbarrows. This is supposed to be a 90 liter wheelbarrow. I, never, I don't want to put it full, full. So I'll just kind of do three quarters or half. Figure that out. Let's figure what the levels are in this. But yeah, so that's the idea. Basically, 10 of these, five first, half a bag of cement, and then water. And then mix it for about two or three minutes. And hopefully I can do two wear barrels out. Maybe give it a rinse off again. I don't know. I decided how I'm going to try to keep this somewhat clean because I've been using this for a long time. I don't want to, I could put bricks in it and I could put gravel in it and stuff like that to try to knock the cement off, or the concrete off. But I'd rather just rinse it out. So I think I've got another bucket and I'm just going to quickly go shake that, rinse it, dump it in the bucket and just continue with that along. Get as clean as I can. I don't care about the look of it as much, it's just I don't want it to get all crappy because if I can use it again for other things in another year, why not? Right? They're not that expensive, but still, I don't like to rock stuff. So, that's the plan. I'm starting that now. Wish me luck again. 17's about there. I don't know if there's a hole in this bucket or what, but there's some water down there. It's lunchtime. It's going pretty well. Pretty much got, I'd say, three meters done, which is about half of what I expected to get, or I mean, for the full day. So I think, yeah, I'm doing all right. Tiring, but not as bad as I had hoped or thought.
the end of the first day. It's been pretty successful. I was hoping to get about six and a half meters done. I managed to get eight and a half. So that's pretty cool. That's about uh, 27, 28 feet. So that's about 13 cubic, not 13, 1.3 cubic meters poured. Uh, that's about 13 bags of cement. And how many buckets? Times 10, so it'll be 130 buckets of the mixed gravel and sand. And it went pretty well. I'm just waiting for the last little bit to dry off and then I'll polish it up. But uh, overall, it looks good. I think everything's going to work out okay. I'm going to do the um, work on the end tomorrow. See if I can continue the pour with that um, bonding compound. But yeah, a bit tired. Not as tired as I thought I'd be. I can probably, when I get a little faster, I can probably get to about, I don't know, one and a half, maybe even two a day cubic meters. So yeah, it's, it's better than I had hoped. Um, so there's definitely room for improvement. The first couple batches were, you know, I was following the instructions on the bag and they weren't very good. So yeah, it's been a good day. So it's day one. How many days is it going to take me? Let's see, about 30 days, hopefully less, but we'll see. All right. I hope you have a good weekend and, uh, I hope everything's good in your household. Talk to you later. And thanks for watching.